All right, moment of truth. Day one for me here on the 30 day weight loss challenge. Let's see what I'm at. 161.8. Alrighty then. Alrighty then. Well, that's the reality check right there. 161.8 pounds and I'm going to be dropping down to 151.8. That's the goal anyway. Drop down to 151.8 pounds by the end of December. I think I'm going to be able to do it. I don't see why I wouldn't be able to do it. All I got to do is just eat the right amount of foods and not keep overeating like I've been doing. Um, the way I got to be 161 pounds was intentional. I just kept eating the densest foods I could. I'd make a whole bunch of smoothies with dates and bananas and I'd eat lots of avocados as well and nuts and seeds. And uh, I just go for the dense stuff and I would just eat and 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 eat with the intention of gaining weight. I'd also lift heavy in the gym. I wasn't doing any cardio. So for the next month, I'm gonna be doing more cardio. I'm gonna be doing more high rep training, like a lot of body weight stuff, a lot of push ups, a lot of squats, a lot of jump squats, stuff that gets the heart rate up quite high. And uh, halfway through the month, December 12th, I'm going to be going to Panama where it's nice and sunny and where I can eat a lot of juicy fruits. And that's really going to help the weight loss as well. So, yeah, it's going to be interesting. Um, this is what I look like on day one of the 30 day weight loss challenge. This is me absolutely flexing. So, 161.8 pounds. Um, and if I just let it all go, not flex. Just looks like a standard North American. Maybe not. Maybe standard North Americans like have bigger gut, but yeah. So if you flex, there's some muscle, but without flexing, looks like whatever. Um, so yeah, that's it. Now you see what it looks like on day one, and now let's go eat some breakfast. I'll show you what I'm gonna have for breakfast. Which banana wants to get eaten today? Is it this box? Or this box? Or maybe it's this box? You're all alone here, buddy. You're all alone here. I'll take you. So, yeah, here's the evidence of what I've been eating. Dates, bananas, and avocados. It's the compost right there. And persimmons as well. Some persimmons and oh, I get some apples in here, which I'm gonna be eating more of over the next couple weeks while I'm here in Canada still. Uh, yeah, that's that. So breakfast, I'm just probably just gonna have like maybe two bananas tops because. I don't even think I could eat five bananas for breakfast unless I really force myself or unless it's in a smoothie. But no smoothie now, I'm just gonna eat the bananas. All right, see ya. So I just did some filming in the studio here for the video course that goes along with this 30 day challenge. And I wanna show you what that studio looks like. Whammo! So, just real quick and dirty. We just got it up, got it done. No point in wasting time painting the whole room. Just paint what you gotta paint, get it done ASAP. And uh, add a plant in there, make it look nice. The yoga wheel, make it look nice, decorate the set a bit. Just did a little meditation right there, part of the course. You got the ring light here, shoot through that. I don't even know if it's on. Now it's on. Off, on. Cool ring light there. And uh, these soft boxes, only like 60 bucks on Amazon for these things. Both of them, two of them for 60 bucks. And then this ring light alone was like 110 bucks or something. Now we're shooting with the uh, Canon 80D here with the 24 to 70 mil lens. This shoots some nice high res image, I love it. Got the wireless mic right here, the Sennheiser. And then getting some more close up shots with the wide angle Tokina lens and the Canon 70D. I love these little pop-out lenses. You can actually see what's in frame when you're shooting. So that's cool, getting some different angles there. Um, yeah, the course, is, the course is coming along great. If you wanna sign up for the course, you can do that. Just click the link below and uh, join the 30-day challenge whenever you want. The sooner you start, the better though, because 
putting things off becomes a habit. You know, putting things off once makes you want to put it off again. Whenever you do something once, it's so much easier to do it again. And that's why people say the hardest step is the first step. You know, the hardest part about getting going is just get going. That's the hardest part, just launching off. When NASA launches rockets to space, the hardest part about launching a rocket is that initial blast off point. Once they're up in orbit, once they got some momentum happening, um, it's just easy up there, but that initial launch uses like 80% of the fuel. So 80% of the fuel comes from that initial just poof, that blast off point. And it's like the same with anything, man. That's why sprinters like Usain Bolt, Usain Bolt, when he sprints, he doesn't pick up top end speed until he's already like well off the blocks, until he's already built up some momentum. But off the blocks, all sprinters are the slowest. That's why sometimes for like 150 meter sprints, the last 50 meters is even faster than, way faster than the first 50 meters. So keep that in mind. And the same goes for strength training. You know, if you're bench pressing, if you have a bench press and you're going down with the bar, the hardest part is that push up on the initial bottom part. That's when most people need a spot. They don't need really need a spotter up here, just finish it off like that. You got more power up here. But down low, when you're just starting off the push, it's the hardest part. So keep that in mind. If you're having a hard time getting started with something in life, whether it's like an art project or a business project or weight loss or health adventure, whatever it is, just get started any way you know how. Just sign up. Just watch the first video. All right, so I'm outside my buddy's place. Gonna shoot a music video with him, but he's not here. And uh, he says he's gonna be back in 20 minutes. And across the street there, that green sign, that's a raw food cafe. So I'm gonna head over there and uh, get some food there while I wait for my buddy. All right, so the music video filming went well. The raw food gourmet meal was extremely filling. There must have been like over a thousand calories in that meal, man. That was awesome. Now I'm gonna have salad with my mom, who's photobombing. And salad is gonna consist of a couple avocados. Between the two of us, we're sharing this one. And then a nice big bed of spinach, lettuce, cucumbers, and green onion as well as we're gonna put in some mandarin oranges here and look how healthy she looks. Doesn't she look healthy for 68 year old vegan? I'm not 68. How old are you? 61 and almost 62. Almost 62. In 62 years. nine days. Whoa. Yeah, birthday's coming up. Uh, oh, and some celery. Put some celery in there as well. And what kind of sauce are we gonna make? We got some like tomatoes or something? Oh well, yeah, so we can make uh, tomatoes. tomatoes, basil, dates maybe. We've got some dates, maybe some hemp seed in there as well. That'll be a great sauce. Um, what else we got? Yeah, well that, that'll be it. Keep it keep it simple. That, that'll be great. All right, this is my mom's little salad, and this is mine. Look at that. Monster salad. Awesome. So now we uh, dig in. Usually I like to stir the salad around a lot before, like I'll spend like two or three minutes just mixing in all the sauce. Uh, we also added in a few things like yellow pepper and some mangoes. To the sauce. Mm. So nice. Mm. Success. So that's it. That's the day in the life. Woke up, had some fruit, bananas, and went to the raw restaurant. Had a bunch of noodles there, some marinara noodles, and now. Having a salad. That's it, that's all.